Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 computer and if you're receiving this error code that is 0x80070000D. So the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu and then click on settings. System, then click on troubleshoot. Click on other troubleshooters. Here you can see Windows update, click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, try to update your Windows 11. Now the next step is to restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this type in services in Windows search box, then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Make a double click on Windows update. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With Windows update selected over here, click on restart the service. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, click on restart the service. Now try to update your Windows 11 once again. Still you are receiving the error message, then reset Windows update components. For this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy the command till here. Open notepad on your computer. So type in notepad in Windows search box and then click on notepad. Paste all the commands in notepad over here. Now go to file, then click on save as. Set the location as desktop. Name this file as wufix.bat. And for save as types, select all files. Now click on save. Now go to desktop. Make a right click on wufix.bat file. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now this will open command prompt. First of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will run scans. Now there are a couple of scans, so it will take some time. And once all the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. And once this is done, then restart your computer and after the system restart, update your Windows 11 once again. Now the last step is to use media creation tool. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps should help you to update your Windows 11 successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.